Hello world, Noah here. Welcome to the next episode of Django by Example. In this episode, we are going to learn how to use models in templates. So in the last video, we have two models, uh, or sorry, two instances of our item model. We have Java and Eclipse. And we're going to take a look how to embed one of those into a template. This is going to be pretty simple to begin with, um, but eventually we'll actually set up the structure of the website. You'll see what I mean in a minute. We want to go ahead and open up our views.py file, and basically we're going to load our instance in the context, and then we're going to actually use it inside of the template. So in this example, we want to basically load all the information about our Java item and display it on the home page. We're going to change that later um, so that it will actually be displayed on its own page, but this will just serve as a very, very basic, simple example. So let's get rid of that message thing that we had there because we don't really want it anymore. That was just as a little demo. Uh, what we do want is we're going to create a context variable called Java, and basically we want to get the Java item. So we're going to say item dot objects dot get and we can just say id equals one and we want to import item again option uh, enter to bring this up and we want to import pdb underscore app dot models dot item so this will import our item model and we're basically saying we want to get the item whose id number is one and in our case we know that is the java model we're going to look at how to make this dynamic so that the user can ask for whichever one they want and we'll pull it up, but that won't be uh, for a couple of videos from now. So essentially we're creating this context variable called Java and the value is um, whatever item has the ID of one. So it will basically load all of the data for that item from the database and stick it in the model and then we can access it here inside of our template. So inside of our template, if we use the context variable Java, we're referring to the Java item that was pulled from our database. So let's do an H3, a heading 3, that says java.name, and then a paragraph text that says java.description. Again, very, very, very simple. We're basically creating a smaller heading that says java.name, where Java refers to the context variable Java and name is the name field of that particular item, and likewise for the description. That's really all it takes. It's super simple. We're basically loading the item from the database and assigning it to the context variable Java, and then inside of our template, we can reference the context variable Java and use all of the data from it. Let's see what this looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and hit run and load the page. And you'll notice that it says Java, and then it says a programming language. Current version is Java 8. Again, we never wrote that text anywhere. It actually pulled it from the database and loaded it. You'll notice that this is instantaneous. So even though we're you know, going into a database, getting data, sticking it into a model, uh, loading it into a template and all of that, it still happens immediately. You know, Django doesn't get slowed down by this. I just want to show you really quickly um, if we pull up the admin page again, I'm going to modify what Java says. So let's just add where it says, you know, like, hello world, for example. I'm going to do save and continue editing. And if I refresh this, you'll notice that it immediately says hello world. Now, the fact that it didn't have the new line is something different that uh, we can talk about later. But the point is that as soon as I modified in the admin page, it immediately modifies on the actual page itself. So that's really nice. There's no, like, copying and pasting anything. There's no time delay or anything. The second you hit save on the admin site, it will immediately uh, apply to any page on your website. So this is a really, really, really simple example. We basically pulled one item from our database and then used it inside of our template to display this information. And as we saw, modifying the particular instance in the uh, admin page will immediately change it on our actual page. Now, in the next episode, we're going to take a look at how to use for loops inside of our template. So that will basically allow us to list all of the items that we have in our uh, database. So as always, subscribe if you want to see more. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and continue on for more Django. Bye for now.